Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Emuna and you are welcome to Echoes. Today we are going to be deliberating on a very important topic, an essential element for the journey of life. Exactly, you know I feel a lot of people are yet to discover their purpose. Well, I'm Emma's patients and joining us after the break is Elvis, a fifth course medical student and Diana, a fourth course medical student of Ivano Frankiv's National Medical University. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Purpose is like the sole reason for mm -hmm. which something was created. Mm -hmm. So, for for example, let's say if you take like maybe the wig, the normal wig, you know. <coughs> you normal wig, 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 like wig, 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 wig that's yes. <laughs> okay. You get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, what what really is the reason for wearing? Mm -hmm. If you check history, right? Mm -hmm. Egyptians created the wig to um, to protect. I mean, the people who shave their hairs. From okay. sun. Yeah. That is the purpose of the wig. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not disputing the fact that maybe wig is supposed to make it. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you get my point. Okay, but yeah, I'm saying I'm that your point. it's just mm. to know the sole purpose. Mm -hmm. okay. The reason why that thing was created, the function mm -hmm. of that thing, is just that's what I believe purpose. You know what? I, I think he's just trying to attack us because he's the only guy. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll come for you, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But then I'll say that, okay, mm -hmm. I've not been around for um, a long time, just decades and some years. Mm -hmm. But then I've seen um, that's, that's right. people, I've seen men and women who work with purpose. I've seen them sleep even in purpose. Mm -hmm. And um, recently I was listening to a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. He's called Neil Donald Walsh. Mm -hmm. And he said that there is something extraordinary going on. Mm -hmm. Something is happening all around us just few people know that something is happening but then it's happening every moment every second of our lives like every every hour every day there is something happening and what is this this is life and until you deeply understand this thing that is happening mm -hmm. that is when you discover your purpose because you will decide you will start thinking about why was i created in this time and not some years back. So what I'm trying to say is that purpose, you know, and time have something to do in common. Exactly. Okay. Purpose is time bound. Mm -hmm. So in my definition, I'll say purpose is what passion, being down with compassion, mm -hmm. not necessarily waiting on a profit. Not necessarily waiting on a profit or a gain, but then the mere fact that somebody is going to gain something from it, is going to meet a need, it's going to make the world better. That is purpose. Because purpose isn't for our own gain, but then for the people that we associate ourselves with. Friends, anything that you are doing without passion, adding passion to it, means that it's not your purpose, right? Then why would you even do it? Because you don't have the love for it. You, okay. you are not good at it. Because for me, I believe that purpose is kind of linked to our personality. Mm -hmm. Like who you are, what you love to do, mm -hmm. you know, what you love to see happening. You get it. Well, so, I, I think that, you know, <clears throat> that's just some people miss it because people think a hobby mm -hmm. and a proof. He said something that people love that's doing. That's you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So some people might just because you have a hobby mm -hmm. does not necessarily mean that it yes, is your purpose. purpose. But so I think I understand the fact that your hobby, I think your hobby could actually be your purpose, but it's not always. So I think that could be a different because I could love cooking. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but it might not be my purpose. I cannot feed the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> How just, is your cooking benefiting your labor? Where how is it? Well, well maybe it's okay. <laughs> I think I think what Diana has tried to bring across 
Um, I mean, doing something that you yeah. love, mm -hmm. not only by doing, but creating an impact in, mm -hmm. in any way you yes. find yourself. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you take maybe the greats of the world, mm -hmm. for instance, um, Albert Einstein. Yeah. You all know he's a scientist, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, love to go in nature and observe, understand. But to know him for the impact that he created, mm -hmm. he's got to MC Square. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Was as a result of what him observing trying to understand nature itself. Mm -hmm. So his hobby was sit in the garden, think, yeah. why, why does this bear fly like this? Yeah. I mean, you know, bring mathematics into it, then now we have something to work with. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't say um, his purpose was to be a scientist, yeah, because but through science, yeah. I mean, he discovered his purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's interesting. I think it's clear. <laughs> so you could, uh -huh. you could say that maybe, um, Purpose isn't really uh, like it isn't really a destination, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's a way to. to, to yes. <laughs> so the purpose is the way, the destination. Yeah. Something. Purpose something is like actually that. a journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like it's okay. ongoing. Okay. It's happening every time. You okay. get. You don't just achieve it and say, "Okay, I'm done." Well, I I've heard of some people mm -hmm. having a particular thing to do. Somebody's sole purpose in life was to just bring a particular soul to Christ. Mm -hmm. You understand? That was the purpose. But then, after that, it didn't end there. His purpose led to the purpose of that person he um he he brought into the um, Christianity. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So although he is done with his work, but then his work is still going on. Well, you know, I don't think that somebody's purpose changes. I think as you are growing, you know, something happens to you. It's like your perspective about things begin to change. So I think it doesn't really change. It's just that you learn new things and then you see that your purpose is becoming clear. Yeah. And can I read to that? Because I believe that, as I said earlier, the purpose is a journey. Okay. So you are still on the journey. It's on board. And as you go, you know, you have to mature. Right? As you are maturing, you let some things go. You take things in. And that is when you can achieve the purpose. You knowing is one, and you achieving is one. There are some people who know their purpose, but then don't go on the journey to achieve it. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's a process. What is a process? There is a, some mechanisms, <laughs> some mechanisms going on, you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some shifting, there are some That's breaking, right. there are yeah. some withdrawal, there are some mm -hmm. addition and multiplication. That's mm -hmm. the process and that is when you grow. Yeah. And when you grow and you achieve the purpose, and that is when you actually done it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Always. laughs> that was why you laughing. Oh, no. you I completely agree. But <clears throat> I think um, the whole idea is like, a step begins the journey. Mm -hmm. So you, I mean, you wouldn't say once you are born now, my purpose is to become mm -hmm. an actress or an actor or mm -hmm. a singer. But you know, as you grow, I mean, things shape up. So you kind of identify yourself mm -hmm. and you know, things fall into place. Mm -hmm. Let's take, for instance, um, Colonel Sanders, mm -hmm. and uh, owner of KFC. Okay. I mean, he, commit, he tried committing suicide. But after that incident, he found something. This is what I do best. I mean, I cook. I cook. I mean, the purpose is not cooking, but the purpose is, I mean, providing food for people who need it. Yeah. You understand? And through that, we all know what KFC is now. Mm -hmm. Now, bring me to that. Uh, do you think career and purpose are the same, or is being misunderstood? Absolutely not. Career and purpose are not the same. Are not the same. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> for instance, we all know Jesus Christ. We all know. Savior. Okay. Yeah. So, Jesus Christ um, was a carpenter. Mm -hmm. that's, that's his career. Yes, true. So, imagine if his purpose was to be a carpenter and to make seats for everybody. Yeah. I bet you will not be here today. We will not be saved. We will not be called believers or Christians right. as right. it is. But <clears throat> Jesus Christ's sole purpose mm -hmm. was to save humanity in a sense take us from a certain well so be a dimension of darkness mm -hmm. to light that's his purpose right. yeah and i'll quickly add something career and purpose okay career 
you know, in my um, definition of purpose, I said not necessarily waiting on a profit. But for career, right? Mm -hmm. You wait for a profit. You wait for a gain. You are paid for it. So I think that's the difference. Yeah. And also, you know, I didn't say it. I think, you know, I think the luckiest people are people that their purpose mm -hmm. to be their career. Mm -hmm. Because actually, I think they are different. You get mm -hmm. they're different. Yeah. But I think <clears throat> one could lead to another. Yes, Let's nice. say for someone that loves to take care of people and let's say you discover that purpose is to care for people and then you find yourself in medical school yeah. you know it becomes easier for you to really Late. achieve your purpose yeah. yeah. but it'll be hard for someone that is in medical school and his purpose for example is to um give you an example like someone who is in medical school and his purpose like is from a motivational speaker mm -hmm. sure. so it really could yeah. really really be hard so yeah. this one is far apart yeah. and i think that's when the conflict of career and purpose, trying mm -hmm. to understand yourself coming. And there will be a lot of work needed for mm -hmm. that because you are here and the purpose is there. Mm -hmm. So you really have to work hard to attain mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And I think that's why some people leave school actually. You know, yeah, someone like Matsu go back. Yeah. You have to take it. Very very small will be leaving school. I don't think I will. I agree to that. And I think people should actually get out of the career books and the classroom books and you know do something for themselves. Right. Do, you, do you guys think that age has something to do with purpose? Like, you know, there are some people that think that, um, I think I'm too young, you know, let me just mm -hmm. wait. Mm -hmm. I should get to a, a particular, a certain level, then I'll be serious, I'll try to discover myself, mm -hmm. discover my purpose. What do you think? Well, for me, I'll say that purpose is time bound. Mm -hmm. Seriously, because we have seen people live eight decades, seven decades, and die mm -hmm. without achieving anything. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people who are in their twenties mm -hmm. and doing something. The world is feeling their impact. So if you have that mindset, then please just trash it because time has like there is no time for you. Time is moving. As I said, there is something extraordinary happening. It happens every second, every moment of our lives. So if you are waiting to give birth before you start chasing your purpose, then it might be too late. And the world is yeah. still waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Yes, so you see, there is no time for you. You should do it. Go in for it. Fine, you may not have the necessary requirements or something, but then just step out, like have the eyes of faith. I always say this, have the eyes of faith. And when you have, when you know where you are going, when you see where you are going into, you will try and do everything possible to get a particular thing. Yeah. Well, that's true. Okay. You know, um, there are some people, right, in life that think that um, they were born by mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they don't have a purpose in life. Do you think that, do you think it's right? Born by mistake. Yes. That's that mistake. Mean, that mistake. What is born by mistake? mistake? Because there was, you know, <laughs> there was this person, right? I was speaking to somebody, and then the person was like, "Well, I think for me, I don't have a purpose there because because of how because of my birth story, maybe through rape or something, you know." So what do you what do you? Have then to the person wouldn't be in this world by now, really, because if you have no purpose, because it takes two to. Your, even if your mom was raped, mm -hmm. fine, you are in the world now. And you're not just here to eat, sleep, and die and go. You can't come and occupy space and go like that. Fine, it don't matter. Have... But then you should do something. And also, you know that <laughs> thing that people see. I think people also have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Because if, for example, people, someone, a lady gives birth out of bed, no, she did not plan it. What you hear people say is that she gave birth, it was a mistake, I did not yeah. plan it. So you know, this child grow and begin to hear, I was a mistake, I didn't mm -hmm. really plan it. So the person begins to feel, okay, yeah, I'm a mistake. I don't think I will live like how every other person who was planned is, you know, I don't supposed to live, I don't supposed to have a purpose. So I think that word mistake too should first of all be addressed before any other person. Well, um, if I may add, um, I think <coughs> the, the sole mistake here is Purpose is only purpose due to the existence of something. Mm. So if something isn't, mm -hmm. then there's no purpose, purpose for that. Mm -hmm. So so far as you are living alive, there is a purpose for 
Then, then you should have a purpose, but uh -huh. you just yeah. have not discovered it. Yeah, that's true. I think, that's, I think, I think you're right. Though. You can, you can equally equate it to talent. Uh -huh. People say they don't have talent. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's that that's true. But Actually, it's just a, um, a moment of discovery. discovery yeah. Once you discover, you just like, oh, yeah. It's a talent, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a talent. Well, yeah. So really, how? Actually, manifesting that. Oh. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Anything that is existing has a purpose. Definitely. Also, yeah. have you discovered your purpose yet? How sure are you that you are still working in your purpose? Stay with us. We'll be right back. relationship and lots more. What do you reflect? We reflect passion, intelligence, motivation and inspiration. We promote businesses through advertisements and also we go behind the scenes to find out more about events happening around us. Kindly follow us on any of our social media platforms displayed right here on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also if you have questions that you are curious about or topics you want to be discussed on the show, you can send them through our email address. Welcome to Echoes. Echoes, reflecting the inner voices. Mm -hmm.